Yo. Hello guys. Got a great question that I wanted to address today because it covers some key issues that I talk about a lot on this channel. Um, shout out to Ink King for this uh, great comment. Um, and yeah, he's dropped a link, which we'll look at in a second. And he asks, how is the singer singing F4 and E4 notes very quietly? He's in his chest voice, but he's not belting at all. It's high. He's singing the notes at a speaking level. How is he doing that? How can you learn to sing high easily like that without going louder? Noticed he's in chest voice. And let's have a listen to this now. I'd like to take the time to love your body, rub your body, kiss and hug your body. Girl, say, ooh, 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 I like, ooh, 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 I like. So I'm going to take the time to love your body. Rub your body, kiss and hug your body, girl. Say ooh 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 ooh, I like, I like, ooh ooh ooh, ooh I like. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm uh, I'm just gonna have these on so that I can demonstrate for you how this works. And this is typical of R and B singers. They've got very good closure skills, typically. Yeah, so. What I'm hearing is, and I'll make it very clear in the demonstrations, have a listen. It sounds almost like chest and head, like it's not really either. You understand? And this is what I talk about all the time when terms start to fall apart. Terms like chest and head, terms like M1, M2. All of this starts to become this big grey washed out area the better you get with your skill set. And these types of R&B singers are great examples because when you hear them, you're like, well, is that chest? Is that head? And to an intermediate singer, they're like scratching their head a bit. They just can't really figure out how's he getting that sound. Well, I'm here to tell you the way he's getting that sound is, uh, 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 he's mastered the compression skills. Yeah. Whether or not he's done it without realizing whether he's done it when he was young, whether he's learned it as an adult or a teenager, I don't know. But the reality is he's got the skill set. So as we have demonstrations, <laughs> I, I rub your body. Yeah, I rub your body. Notice it's not really either. And I'm going to kind of keep repeating this a little bit. If I was singing this in my chest, as you would typically hear on your singing channels, um, we'd have something like... <laughs> Yeah, I'd rub your body. Yeah, that would be typically known as your chest voice sound. Yeah, um, but it's not really that. It's kind of halfway to that. Yeah, and the difference is if you can learn to graduate from ha uh, ha uh, to a uh, a uh, a uh, and everything in the middle of that, and it's the middle ground between those two extremes that these R and B singers live in. Live in. Uh, 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 uh. And typically when people talk, they're roughly on that compression level. So often people can't find closure and they're like doing all sorts of fiddly things. And it's just like, go back to your speaking voice because that has a medium level of compression for most people. Conversely, when I shout and I talk loudly, I increase the closure. Most people do this unconsciously. They've learned in chest voice to do this. Now, what I'm going to tell you is that this works in all parts of your range, but typically people haven't developed the skill set higher up in the mid range and the head voice. So that's what they need to learn and develop. Most people find range before they find closure skills um, or develop them with a lot of nuance in their mid and high range. Pitch is something you have to learn, something you have to be good at. Um, but also this type of thing where we are leaning into a little bit of closure but not too much to where we get to that sound where it's like, is that chest or head? And that's what he's noticed here. Look in the comment. It's chest voice, but he's not belting. Yeah, it's chest voice, but it doesn't sound like chest voice. It's quieter than chest voice, but it's not falsetto. It's not head. How do we get there? Uh, 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 it's right there. As opposed to here, lots of closure. Yeah, if I talk to you like this, it sounds very chesty. But if I talk to you like this, it kind of sounds chesty but gentle. 
but it doesn't sound like falsetto. And this is exactly what I talk about over and over again on this channel. It's a good example. Listen to him sing. It's like chest or head. Who knows? And he knows. And I know. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you guys. So thank you, I Ink King. Did I call you Ice King at the start of the video? Ink King, thank you for the comment and the question. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you again tomorrow or the next day or the next day uh, until I die. <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want my help personally, you can book a one-on-one -on -one training session. Drop me a message. My email is in the description. And if you feel like this message was of value, then please feel free to make a donation equal to that value. Again, donation link is in the description. And finally, please share this video with other singers you know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in another video. Bye.